Hey there. Welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube. Once upon a time, the Titanic held the record as the longest ship of its era. With a total length of 882.5 feet, a width of 91.9 feet, a weight of 52,310 long tons, and a height from the deck to the water surface of 59 feet. As time progressed and technology advanced, the length of the Titanic is no match for the ships of today. If you compare it to the biggest ship in the current era, the Titanic would look very small. And here it is, the longest and biggest ship ever built in the modern era, Emma Maersk. This ship is known as the longest and largest in the world, with a length of about 1,299.2 feet, a width of 183.7 feet, and a height of 154.2 feet. This ship has the capacity to carry more than 11,000 container units. The Emma Maersk was built by the AP Mahler Maersk Group, a leading shipping company based in Denmark. This ship is known to be the most efficient and high quality because it is equipped with the latest technology and a powerful engine. With a gross weight of around 182,283 long tons, Emma Maersk is powered by an engine with about 14,000 horsepower. With the ability to carry cargo from one continent to another very quickly and efficiently, it makes the Emma Maersk a top choice for shipping companies that want to ship large quantities of goods from one country to another. TI-Class Supertankers As the longest supertanker in the world, the TI-Class Supertanker was created to transport large amounts of crude oil and other fuel products from one country to another. This ship has the capacity to carry up to 3.1 million barrels of crude oil. With the ship dimensions of 1,243 feet in length, 206 feet in width, and 242 feet in height, this ship is powered by a very powerful and efficient electric diesel engine with an engine power of around 82,000 horsepower and a dead weight of about 486,170 long tons. This ship began construction in 2002 and was completed in 2003 by several leading shipbuilding companies in the world, such as Hyundai Heavy Industries, Samsung Heavy Industries, and Dewu Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering specifically made for the Hellespont Company. Q-Max The next longest ship in the world is the Q-Max. Q-Max has a gross tonnage of 179,293 long tons, with a length of 1,132 feet. The Q-Max also has a capacity of 9,384,370 cubic feet, and can travel over seawater at a speed of 19.5 knots, or 22.4 miles per hour. There are 14 Q-Max ships scattered around the world and given different names, namely Almayada, Al Mafiar, Um Slal, Bu Samra, Al Guairia, Lijmilia, Al Samria, Al Dafna, Moza, McCain, Shagra, Zarga, Amira, and Rashida. These ships were built by Samsung Heavy Industries, Hyundai Heavy Industries, and Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering. The first Q Max ship named Moza was completed in 2007, and the naming ceremony took place at the Samsung Heavy Industries shipyard in South Korea. All QMAX ships operate under the Qatari gas transportation company called Nakalat, and it is the largest ship that can dock at LNG terminals in Qatar. Nok Nevis One of the longest ships ever built by humans is an oil tanker known as Nok Nevis. The Nok Nevis, also known as Mont, is an ULCC supertanker that was eventually decommissioned in 2009. 
Nok Nevis is one of the largest man-made objects in the world. From stern to bow, its length is taller than the Empire State Building. The ship stretches 1,503.4 feet long and has a gross weight of about 288,628 long tons. Nok Nevis was initially built in 1979 by Sumitomo Heavy Industries Japan. But in 1988, this ship was damaged during the Iran-Iraq War in the Strait of Hormuz and was later repaired with the name Happy Giant. The ship was then bought by Jorgen Yahre from Norway in 1991 and renamed Yara Viking and was used for 13 years. Finally, the ship was purchased by First Olsen Tankers and renamed Nok Nevis. The ship has a cruising speed of 16 knots or about 18.6 miles per hour, driven by a single propeller with a diameter of 29 feet. Oasis of the Seas Oasis of the Seas, Allure of the Seas, and Harmony of the Seas, known by the name Project Genesis, are the longest and largest passenger ships built by the company Royal Caribbean. These ships were built in 2009, 2010, and 2015. With a length of 1,181.1 feet, this cruise ship can accommodate a maximum of 6,296 passengers with 2,394 crew members. The longest cruise ships in the world can be said to be very fast, as they have a speed of 22.6 knots or about 26 miles per hour, with a gross tonnage of 248,783 long tons. The cruise ship is equipped with various luxury facilities. Facilities this ship has include two Flowrider surf simulators on the top deck, an ice skating rink, two 42.6 feet high rock climbing walls, swimming pools, a basketball court, and even a water park. And there are nine decks on this cruise ship. The Oasis of the Seas is estimated to be worth about 900 million euros or 1.24 billion US dollars, making it the most expensive commercial ship ever built by humans. Esso Atlantic The Esso Atlantic, an oil tanker operated by Esso Tankers Inc., is one of seven ships in the world with a deadweight capacity of half a million tons. With a length of 1,333.3 feet, it is one of the largest oil tankers. The deadweight tonnage of the Esso Atlantic is 571,605 long tons, and its gross tonnage is 287,162 long tons. The ship was built in 1977, and with a draft of 83 feet, it cannot pass through the waters of the English Channel, the Panama Canal, or the Suez Canal. Esso Atlantic was relocated to the Bahamas in 1983. It operated for a long time until it retired in 2002, before finally being sold for scrap and scrapped in Pakistan. Prairial. The long Prairial oil tanker was built at the Chantier de l'Atlantique shipyard, located in Saint-Nazaire, France. The length of this ship is 1,359 feet or 414.22 meters with a dead weight of 613,903 short tons and a gross weight of 303,257 short tons. Prairial is a ULCC oil tanker powered by four Stahl-Laval steam turbines that can produce 65,000 horsepower. Compared to its three sister ships, Prairial operated the longest, from 1979 until 2003. During its service, the ship was sold several times to other ship operators and registered under several names such as Sea Brilliance, Hellas Foss, and Sea Giant. In the end, the Prairial ship ceased operation and retired in 2003, and in the same year was scrapped in Ghadani, Pakistan. Balamya With a length of 1,358.27 feet, Balamya is one of the sister ships of Pierre Guillaume and Prairial. 
The ship has a dead weight of 611,295 short tons and a gross weight of 272,700 short tons. It operated from 1976 until 1986. Like Prairial, Bellamia was built by Chantier de l'Atlantique for the Shell Oil Company in France. Unfortunately, this ship didn't operate for long because at that time the oil market was drastically down. This ship was the second in the Batilis class supertanker, and only the CY's giant ship could exceed the size of this ship. In 1984, the ship was docked in Norway, and two years later, in January 1986, the ship was sent to Ulsan, South Korea, to be scrapped. MSC Danit this ship was built in 2009 at Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering Al Sadr, South Korea. The MSC Danit is a container ship ordered by the Mediterranean Shipping Company SA, with an overall length of 1,198.16 feet and a width of 167.98 feet. This ship has a dead weight of 182,707 short tons and a gross weight of 168,756 short tons, making it one of the longest and largest ships in the world. Marisk McKinney Muller With a length of 1,312.34 feet, this container ship is the longest container ship in the world and is the first container ship in the Triple E class, a most energy-efficient ship owned by Maersk. This class is owned by the AP Muller Maersk Group and operated by Maersk Line. The Maersk McKinney Muller has a width of 193.57 feet and a height of 239.50 feet with a cargo capacity of 18,020 foot equivalent units, TEU, and a dead weight capacity of 182,240 short tons. The ship was launched in February 2013 and was named in June 2013, and 20 ships in this series have been built and launched. This container ship has a twin skeg propulsion system, which includes two engines and two propellers. The two propellers each consist of four blades, and the two ultra-long stroke engines each have an output of 30,000 kilowatts. The maximum speed is 23 knots, or 26.47 miles per hour. That wraps up today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos. Catch you in the next one.